odd. That's weird. There is not gonna be any sound for the freaking stream if I don't fix this. Weird. Hmm. Why ain't it changing? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? For some reason, it's not going off of the HTC Vive. Hold on a minute. Come on, you. Okay. Well, that works. Sort of. Oh, that's confusing. Eh, eh, eh. The absolute hell. Well, that's interesting, Fuzzy. What? For some reason, my freaking uh, audio sources don't want to change from uh, the HTC Vive. You might need to unplug your HTC Vive. Oh, for a bit, wait a then. minute. For some reason, it says it's the HTC Vive, but it isn't. <laughs> so what? it's that thing where uh, screen one was screen two and screen two is screen one? <laughs> No, in the mixture it just says HTC Vive, like it's a, uh, set up to the HTC Vive audio, which it's not even connected right now. But for some reason, when you talk, it goes up and down, like it's reading. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm just going to now um, put it in the Discord that we're streaming, which means I'm going to uh, just do this real quick. Put it as starting soon, because I want to get enough people into this to get them to see how to do it in a way. Yeah, I mean, you finally get to see my uh, avatars folders. Oh, dear lord. And all of the uh, zero 01, uh, zero 00 and the zero news, all of those are folders with avatar folders in them. I mean, just... Okay, copy, paste. I'll even post it in the healer server, why not? I can ever remember where this shit is. Post it in Denatus as well. Why not? If I can ever find it. That's pretty much it that I'm going to be posting. Teddy bear. Teddy bear? <laughs> uh, I don't remember what this was. Dude, I downloaded so many models, I can't remember them. Okay, I think I remember this one. Oh. <laughs> 
I want to learn. Oh, that actually doesn't look too bad. That could be like a striker thing. Turn him into a female avatar. Yes. Needs to join us. Well, he is kind of a male, actually. Jesus Christ, man. What? Too many avatars. <laughs> yeah, look at all these. These are all avatars. These Jesus. are all avatars. Why do you have, like, fucking 12 new in the nose of avatars? <laughs> I was originally just filling this up, and then I'd delete them whenever I decided I wouldn't use them. But, like, I kept on, like, just kidding. Like gaining, so finally I just made new folders and I like fill those. And once it gets a little bit of, out of hand, then I delete everything except for the usable ones, then make a new new folder. Oh my god, you have issues. <laughs> you hey, have major fucking issues. <clears throat> Thomas the Tank Engine, name Choo Choo. No. Oh, I think the Choo Choo was, uh, the Pikachu was, where is it? What? No, I lost it. It's somewhere in here. <laughs> Man, I forgot I had that. Yeah, major issues with Rick Moss, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hopefully my, uh, banner and my uh well my header and my other stuff won't get in the way i'm still trying to learn how to convert gmod models if so then i can help that one guy that's been wanting a uh, uh isaac clark model fair enough yeah unfortunately i'm having trouble with that mm. it's just outdated the way that you do it yeah Make everything else. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think I might do the Luca rather. Yeah, I'm going to do the Luca. I'm just going to drag this here for easy access. Let's see, import at the top. There we go. So how long are you wanting to do this? Like, uh, just so I can keep an eye on the time and just like try to sum it up to a certain checkpoint. Uh, we can probably do like two or three models, maybe one, two, three, something. Depends on how oh, much you want. It. You want to do multiple models and not just like skim through like all the subjects through one model. It depends on how you want to do it. Because... It does not matter to me. <sighs> If you just want to get pretty much one or two models, like, up to the point where they're ready, yeah. and then we can go through uh, more in-depth detail of other stuff. Okay. I'm thinking. I've gone to this page so many times that it's just instantly my ball roll whenever I search it. <laughs> oh, dear lord. I love those files. I do too. Scan faces. Let's see, uh, timeline one day. Come on. I think this person meant to put a password on this, but forgot to. Yeah. Oh my god, they have the... No, 
99 downloads. Oh, dear lord. That's cool. That's actually pretty good. Huh. Oh, that's not it. Nothing else new. Totally oh, no, Friends. No, that's not. That's just steam. Steam punk? Yeah. No, watch for the teddy bear. <laughs> I swear I've seen one of these characters, but it was Five Nights at Freddy's that had. Well, that I think it is supposed to be Five Nights at Freddy's. Yep. Yeah. Five Nights. Okay. It's Golden Freddy. For some reason, his eyes are different colors. Yeah, I don't know. I, I lost interest in, interest in the Five Nights at Freddy's after the first game and just yeah. kind of stopped watching it. That's weird. Welcome to the Cat Army. Yo, yo. Glad you can make it to the stream. I also got a follower um, last time, like after the stream or something. Interestingly. God. Karina. Oh my lord, what is that? They're amazing. That is perfect. Oh dear lord. I'm not gonna do that though. No, not for this. <clears throat> yeah, I know who you are. What colors are there? Whoa, what, what the hell? Why is there so many Charizards? Oh, okay. Uh... What's it called? Uh, Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. That's a lot of Charizards, though, too. Damn. <clears throat> How are you doing yeah. that? Um, basically... Discord, my man. Discord. He said it's not on my screen, so I'm kind of cheating here. Pretty much here as much as you are for the uh, for the ride. Since my Unity doesn't want to work, I have to see if I can contact Unity and see if I can fix that. Keep forgetting to do that though. Keep forgetting. Can you send me the link, please? To what? You gotta be more specific. Oh my god. It's a guitar AK. I know, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what would be funny is you, like, basically put that in an avatar, you actually make it, like, play, like, some, like, rock and roll ish free to use music. That's not copyrighted. <laughs> and you make it, like, shoot and shit, the website. Oh, it's a bowl roll. Just look up Boro, it's easy to find. Actually, I can do that. I actually have a link to it. Because I have it in the MMD models folder. Copy. There we are. Okie dokie. Just wondering how I sound, but I'm not gonna. Jay can tell me how I sound. My microphone. Hopefully, I'm not too quiet. Because, for one thing, I don't know why my filters like to fuck up sometimes.
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, filters. Game. Let's go with five. How does that sound? I think that sounds good. Can't really turn on my microphone because it's set up to a certain point. It's just that for some reason, uh, my uh, good old Streamlabs does not like the Crosshair microphone. And it sounds quiet for some reason. Mm. Oof. Don't think that's right. Neither norm that. It's purple. <laughs> it's so purple though. That's not bad. Yeah, one of these is supposed to be right. Yeah. Maybe that. And one thing that makes it not look right is the fact that Ooh. the trigger in this area is the same as this area right here, which is not supposed to be right. Yeah. But again, it's not really separating the model further than that. Which means I'm guessing it was supposed to be. Is this for a VRC chat? Yeah, basically you're, we're going to be going through how to get a model ready for VRC chat. Basically. And I'm just playing around until he tells me to go. <coughs> well, we kind of want to get at least some people in so that they can see. I mean, overall, I think we're ready. There is four people watching. Yeah, I'm ready. I'll just tell me when. Yeah, we're good to go. If you want to start okay. on a model. While you're doing okay. that, I'm also going to fix my fucking slippers. <laughs> well, slippers. So obviously, uh, after you get your, uh, <laughs> your model, you're going to have a PMX or any sort of file, really. But, uh... Just make sure you're equipped to import it into Blender. One thing that most people know from the VR chat communities is the Cats Blender tool and the MMD tools. Uh, forget why we get MMD tools. I'm pretty sure it's just importing MMD models. Yeah, and... it's just for mostly importing MMD models. Yeah, it's been so long since I even touched that. Yeah. So. After we get it in, just make sure that you fix your model through the cats. And uh, you do have to be careful. Sometimes it, if you don't have the correct thing selected, like if you have your armature selected rather than your uh, mesh or your mesh instead of your armature, it can screw things up. So just keep an eye on that. So first thing that I would do that I'm not going to do on stream is I'd separate by materials and I'd actually pick the uh, model apart for two reasons. The first is I'm going to be checking the tries to make sure that it's under 20K or 60K if I'm doing a high res model for you know somebody. Yeah. And uh, just deleting any sort of thing that it, I would view as unnecessary, like these ribbons, they're not too high poly, so I'd actually leave them on. But another thing that you need to do is remove the shirt, remove the panties, check for nudity, because you're going to get uh, reported if anybody goes inside you and sees something that they shouldn't. <laughs> All right, next we're going to go ahead and translate everything. Uh, once you do figure out that it is a model that you want. Yes. Are you using Unity? Really... No, we're using Blender right now. Uh, we will be going into yeah. Unity in a bit. We are doing uh, one or two models, so, for this stream. I'm not going to go too into decimation. What I found is that the majority of the time when I decimate my character through Blender itself, it reverts back when transferring it to Unity, but through the Cat's Blender, it stays. Uh, just want to make a note real quick. When you do use decimation, no. even if you go to, say... 1500 as the destination. I'm only losing, say, just 100. You do need to be careful of the hands. The first thing that you will notice is that 
it likes to put cracks in the hands, and that's usually unseemly. Yeah, I've had uh, a couple of models like that. Oh yeah, I absolutely hate it. And one thing that you can do to get around this is to separate the model by material. Uh, take your hands and hide them with the H button. Take your, say, face and hide that. Rejoin oh, everything. Uh, hide the armature too. With Control J, that way you can move it around, and then decimate that, and then uh, put the uh, hands back. You might actually have to start a new instance of Blender uh, and copy everything that you want to keep the tries on. Otherwise, you might end up again screwing everything over. Eye tracking is actually pretty easy. Just select the model. Uh, make sure that all of the bones are correct, and then click create eye tracking. I'm pretty sure pretty much everybody knows this by now, but just going over it just in case. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube for these too. Oh yeah, There's and if you if something just doesn't look right, and always like I like. Pretty much everybody says, test your model, make sure that, say, the eye blinking works right. Because usually people will have different winks, say wink one and then wink two, which most people use wink two. Another thing that I would do if you plan on editing your model further in Unity, like, say, adding weapons, adding anything else, redo your armature. Uh, it's always nice to go through and uh, say all you have all of these skirts. Well, they're going to get in the way. So what I would do is just go into edit mode with tab, open your hips, select your hips with your cursor in here, hold shift and G. That no, way, my bad. Uh, shift and D, press escape, rename that to say skirts root, or skirt root. Hold shift, select your hips. Make it apparent, keep offset, and then put everything into the skirt root. Just make sure that you select skirt root last, otherwise uh, you'll put your skirt root in one of your bones. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some of these themes. Now, if you don't have V selected and they only say base, if I remember correctly, is what it is. Let me, let me check that real quick. I believe it does say base. Yeah, bases. Then you're going to have to click it, go through, and find anything that does say what you need, which is uh, you're there, or any lip movements that show that, which you can test. And here, here you go, uh, like, fuzzy. Like I, keep, I keep finding yeah, people who can work on my model, but no one can bone my model. <laughs> no one can bone? Uh, should probably rephrase that. Uh, on VRC traders, there are some people that will yeah. uh, there, do commissions. There's, um, more specifically, if you uh, look up a world in VR chat, there's a, um, it's called, uh, fuck, what is it called? It's, um, Avatar Lounge. That's where I did a commission for a uh, model. Uh, the dude had to pretty much redo a lot of stuff, so, on my model that, uh, I requested. <clears throat> that place has a commission, uh, well, channel that you can commission in models from. And, uh, yeah, so, I'd suggest going there for that. There probably will be someone there. I do want to get my channel up to that point. Where, uh, some... Model makers who do commissions can be on my channel. How long does it take to bone a model? Could it be done tonight? <sighs> Bones for models are hard. On VRChat itself. Um, the Discord link is in the, uh, uh, for their Discord is in their actual, uh, world. That's where I got it from. And, uh, 
you can get on there from there. Uh, Fuzzy, you want to talk about bones? I do not think you'd be able to bone a model in one night, no. One sitting, uh, mainly for the uh, because there's a lot of bones per model. Well, it's not only is it adding the mesh to a certain particular bone, you're adding a section of mesh to a particular bone, and then on top of that, after you get that done, you need to go back and reweight the mesh itself so that whenever you so that whenever you're rotating it, oh god, that looks hideous, but whenever you're <laughs> rotating it, the mesh responds properly and stretches the way it's supposed to stretch, which this one isn't the way I would do it, but it still, it's pretty well professional considering. Yeah. So doing it one night is not really possible, unless no. someone literally stays up all night doing it, but uh, it's not gonna well, that moly not gonna happen yeah for somebody who is definitely on the position to professionally commission models i can see them doing it in one night but for yeah. somebody as myself or somebody else who's beginning blender or unity if you can do it in unity i don't know uh then yeah it would take well over a week i would assume probably yeah just to learn it yeah blender is a bit hard comparative to Unity, and in Unity, I don't really know if you can bone models. A but, bit. Yeah. Hopefully that answers your question, and hopefully you'll be able to get to the Avatar Lounge um, to be able to commission that model. Oh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck. I'm pretty sure they will commission the model. Yeah. Everybody likes money. Yeah. What I hope is that you get it for either cheap or somebody actually does it for free, which would be extremely yeah. nice. Um, one thing is, is you could try to bargain the price. I actually kind of did with my model. Basically, he asked me uh, how much it would cost. Uh, I asked him how much it cost. He would, like, he basically said like, how much do you think? I said like twenty to thirty, and he went with like uh, twenty-five. So I actually uh, got it pretty cheap comparative to most model stuff. Especially since the model that I asked him to do, uh, the textures were all fucked up, so he had to manually refix the textures. Dear. So, I kind of got lucky, so. It's just how a com model commission works, man. It take time. It's a different right. Luca. I think we're ready for Blender. I've already exported it, so I'm just playing around with the, uh... Oh god, that looks hideous. Oh god, what is that? <laughs> you mean you're ready for Unity? Yeah, I think so. Uh... Hmm. Can't think of anything else so far. Yeah, I think I will switch. Got this. So basically, Unity. when you export a model, it you basically make it so that it's uh, Unity ready. So, like, it can't be, like, an... If you want to explain this. Um, with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, like... Unity can only read certain file formats, yeah. so you need something like FBX, which is what I primarily use. So, like, uh, an MMD won't work. No. Well, PMX is... Well, MMD PMX is the type. Kind of. Yeah, PMX will work. Uh, yeah. OBJ, I believe... But there are a lot of uh, model formats that will not work. You just need to make sure that it's Not to mention, if it's an MMD model, VR, the VRC uh, SDK will not work. It, basically, the people at MMD fucked the basically um, SDK to not work with that format. Because of a lot of the uh, VR chat avatar makers taking a lot of MMD models. And people on MMD don't really like that. For some reason. It's their work. Eh, what can you do? <coughs> but yeah, so... Basically, you have to kind of go in Blender, change the format, and do all the other extra stuff now. Whereas you didn't have to later on, uh, earlier on. Alright. So... Uh, I forgot to do this before I set it up in the uh, world. Let me actually delete that. First thing you want to do when you 
uh, drag your new model with its whole fo folder containing your materials and your textures into Unity is you want to click on the model in your projects view and you want to select humanoid rather than generic. Uh, if you are playing on PC, I don't believe it matters too much, depending, um, on, depending on the model. Like, if you're, say, a horse, then like, I don't think humanoid is what you want. Generic is pretty much what you would need for that, because you're not worrying about bones as much. Yeah. Now, animating uh, the horse is going to be a pain in the ass, but... Another thing that you need to do is to go into configure uh, scroll in so that you can see your model closely now sometimes it will be all in red and it will say in the top left or right character not in t-pose just ignore this for just a second it might fix itself with the next thing that you need to do so after you check to make sure that the upper chest is not uh, parented to anything go into your head and make sure that your jaw is not parented to anything. Uh, otherwise, what you could have is, say, that was on the right eye, I believe. Uh, whenever you talk, your right eye vibrates. Not usually something you want. And I was wondering for the longest time why my hair on the majority of my models was vibrating whenever I talked. So... The more you know. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> okay, so we need to... Oh, dear God, there's so many. Go into Materials folder. Go into... One thing that you might want is a different set of shaders in VRChat. Everybody that I know who uses anime characters and even those who don't use anime ca characters use Cube Paradoxes just because it's such a clean shader. Uh, however, any shader will do really, as it'll all work, work in uh, VR chat. Like even the hair, you can say turn it to a black hole, which actually looks really nice. That really actually kind of does. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this on the main one. Change everything else, and, oh, sorry. I'm breaking things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hair, hair. After you get all of your shaders set up, one thing you do need to note is that if you have any sort of emotes in your face. Let me see if I can actually get in there. Which this one does not. Uh, you may notice that it has a lot of white around it. And what you need to do for that is you'd have to open any of the materials, either from the material folder or by double clicking on, double -clicking on your model and extending it and go from either uh, it should be on transparent the majority of the time that I find whenever I import. Just make it opaque, but for your emotes, uh, you might want it as cutout or fade, depending on what it is. Uh, the majority of the time you will go with cutout. If you do want a different texture for, say, your coat, you can also change that from here too. Which you'd have to do some work on it either through GIMP or any other sort of paint, Photoshop, anything really, to either recolor it or remake it completely or just find another material that looks good on it. Uh, one extra thing is you may sometimes see that your model's face will look darker than the rest of its skin just make sure you go onto the face and make sure that it is not just slightly grayer than the rest of it. Just make sure it's as white as it can be, unless you want it to be tan or black. All right. Uh, one thing you'll notice with the uh, black hole shader is this in the background. 
it, just ignore that it does go away in the uh, in the game. Actually, I think I will get rid of it right now. Uh, can you think of anything that you've had trouble with while uh, doing this? <clears throat> well, I can remember the frickin' uh, this one time I had, when I was trying, it was a, a VRC mods frickin' avatar. There was a, uh, for some reason, in Unity, when I put it in there, um, the finger bones were not working. So, basically, one thing I had to do is fix the finger bones. I didn't wind up using that avatar, actually. You didn't ever see it, but uh, uh, I had to uh, manually reset the finger bones, which actually isn't too hard to do in Unity. Yeah, no. Uh, really. I like it. Uh, it's the same place where we uh, checked the, yeah. uh, the head to make sure that the jaw wasn't you know, messed up. Because all you have to do is just, if the finger bones aren't parented correctly, all you do is just parent them back. So, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube for that, so. Just do if you ever need any uh, references there, there's a lot of YouTubes for that as well. And then, uh, I think Fuzzy actually is showing that a little bit too. A little yeah, bit. Works. Yeah, so sometimes just one thing might be off. Yeah. Or say even the whole entire hand. All you gotta do, just click on it, find whatever it is, which in this case, thumb intermediate, which is thumb two, thumb one, thumb one, and make sure that it's right. So thumb one right, and that is it. Yeah, it's relatively be... simple. Yeah. As long as your model has the bones you should be able to easily find it in Unity, unless it's, again, not uh, properly named. It might be in a foreign uh, language, which is what we need the cat's blender add-on in order to fix. Yeah, most models that um, Fuzzy and uh, I had used and stuff with doing models is... Uh from Bolro, which is a Japanese website, so basically all of the models are pretty much Japanese. And Cat's plugin helps you uh, fix or rename the bones and all the other meshes and shit that are not named in English. Okay. Uh, make sure you do download and install the VRC SDK. Uh, otherwise, you're going to hit a, a pretty big wall. Yeah, you won't be able to upload the avatar after you're done. Uh, the other thing is, is you can get the SDK on their website when you log in. It's literally right at, uh, there on the bottom, I think. Is it in the bottom? Hey, it's on the, it's uh, in the login page yeah. when you log in, so. You'll have to scroll down a bit. Yeah. One thing that you absolutely need is the avatar descriptor. All you got to do is put descriptor into it, and it'll automatically find it, so long as you do have the VRC SDK. Let's go ahead and make this a female. One thing that a lot of people have trouble with is the size of your model. Uh, go back to your projects folder and go into the VRC SDK folder and just navigate to the tutorial avatar, which is right here. Drag that into your scene. And you can compare the height uh, the majority of the characters are slightly different, like the default avatars. This one is pretty well on par with the size of the spiky hair dude that you see a lot of people have whenever they're just getting in. So you can sort of compare your uh, model to it. Let's go ahead and shorten this up a little bit. Right about there. 
I want to make sure that it is a female. However, the majority of the time, even if you have a female character, sometimes it's better to go with the male body positioning. Uh, so if you get into get into your game with a female avatar and it just doesn't seem perfect when sitting down and whatnot, try re-uploading it as a male and see if that fixes your problems. Now, for the lip sync, so long as you went into your blender and you use the cast uh, Vizim's tool in order to add it, you should be able to easily find all of your uh, Vizim's, which I don't think I actually did for this one. Oh dear. Oh dear. <clears throat> but that's okay because I have another model. <laughs> See, not important. Luca, I have it somewhere around here. There it is. It's the original Luca. There we go. Just a different hair, uh, different color, and I also deleted the uh, the bangs. No, not bangs. Ponytails in Blender. Otherwise, it's the same character. So, what you would do is you just drag this down to the Zine Blend Shape. You would click on this little circle off to the right and click on Body. Uh, the reason why it has more bodies is because I should... I don't see them, actually. You know what? It just wants to be that way to me. Anyway, you should easily find it out. Uh, you should only have one body. I don't know why I have three. Pretty sure I screwed something up when I was uploading the model. But all you gotta do is Vizim Sill, connect it to VRC V Sill, and just continue down the line until you get that finished. Now that I have done that, let me go back to the original and go from there. Yeah, another thing I got rid of is these right here. Actually, I believe. These things. There it is, cut out. And then there's another one for the eyes. Ah. It will be face. Nope. <laughs> it's somewhere around here. Yeah, sometimes you eyeshadow, that's it. Cut out. There we go. Does it look like the fade? There we go. Alright, so this one's supposed to be a fade, which is basically just transparent. So you can kind of see up at the top, it's just completely gone, but with fade, barely adds a eyeshadow. Yeah. And one thing I've been kind of going back and forth, adding models for quite a while, and you will never upload something and go, oh, I can't believe I did it on the first try. You'll always go back and have to redo something. It always sucks. Yeah. Now, if you do want dynamic bones, uh, you will have to spend a little bit of money. Now, it is $20, if I remember correctly. Yeah. On the asset store. And there is literally no way pretty much around it, basically. Unless you want to recode your own dynamic bones. Yeah. Which not many people can do. No. Um... Basically, dynamic. Not to mention, a lot of VRC uh, mods avatars have dynamic bones, and they will not work unless you have dynamic bones yourself. So, yeah. Basically, you need that from the asset store to have your models work. If you're going to go for VRC mods, which we will be doing that probably next week, partially because. This is going to be around a, like, hour, two-hour show. So, kind of want to keep it uh, short, at least, with the streaming. And this will be a show that will be each week, usually. Uh, it depends on Fuzzy's timing and, well, Fuzzy's how his day goes and how my day goes, so... Because I might wind up being busy, or he might wind up being busy. It depends, really. Okay. 
for dynamic bones, if you do end up getting them, there's two ways that people have done it. The first is to click on your main model from your hierarchy and add it from there. It will clutter up everything. Uh, you can shorten it to kind of get it out of the way temporarily. However, whenever you go to upload and then stop, oh, it didn't do that. That's surprising. Hmm. Anyway, if you're messing with your animations or if you're changing any sort of uh, shader, I believe, can do it. Nope. Okay, I guess it's just animations. Uh, whenever you do mess with the anim animations, you might come back and realize that all of your dynamic bones are open and you have to scroll through every single one of them. Uh, I do half of my models this way, but the other half I actually navigate to the bone that I want, say the hair, and then I add it from there. Uh, when you do add it to the bone, just make sure that you redrag the bone from the hierarchy onto the root. Otherwise, it won't take any effect. It's just a, an empty script sitting there. Uh, this is where my note comes in handy for hair, which there are YouTube videos on what you should and shouldn't use for all of your dynamic bones. Uh, I personally like the viral one that you will instantly find if you look up dynamic bones. After you set in everything, make sure that it's actually the right one. All you have to do to test it out, you don't even have to go in game, is just click the play button at the top, your scene, and then drag your whole entire model just a little bit. And I think I remember why I got rid of this model's hair. Because for some reason it's not working on the entire ponytail. Yeah, the bone is only from right here down. Yeah, which, that's interesting. Which I saw as all of this hair being kind of just in the way and adding to the poly count, which I did not want. So I just got rid of the hair. Hmm. Okay. Now, I believe after you get all of that done, if you do not want to get into animations, you should be able to go up to your VRC SDK, show build control, which would be VR chat, which is down here. It will not be just down on your bottom. You may see only this. You might not even see the animation project. You have to actually go through your windows and add things and then drag them to where you want them. Good old choo choo. Oh, yeah. So, all you do, make sure that your model is selected. Make sure that it is not in the uh, skinned mesh body area right here. Make sure that it is actually your model. Build and publish, and then you will be able to publish it onto VRC. Uh, one thing to note. If you do mess up and you try to re-upload it, you might realize that it's not uploading. So let me go ahead and wait for this thing to do its thing. And then cancel it out. Is that over on the right side hand, uh, inspector, under pipeline manager, you have your blueprint ID. If you already uploaded a character with that blueprint ID, it will always try to re-upload as that character. However, sometimes it screws it up and just doesn't update it at all. So what you might have to do is go onto your controller, delete whatever model it is, detach the blueprint ID, and then re-upload it as a new model. Okay. Now, I'm about to get into animation real quick. Uh, do you, can you think of anything else, Captain, before I go into that? Uh, basically, the, um, I'm trying to think of something that I remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, so when you detach the pipeline, sometimes if you, re if you name the character something else, you'll have two of the same character too. So, like if you wanted a, 
separate character from the other one, you detach that pipeline, name it something that is specific to that avatar, and you'll have two of the same. So, like, say you want, you have, like, an avatar that literally is your personal model. So, you, like, have an avatar that you like and are going to stick with, and you just want different versions. That's kind of how you do it. Um, oh, yeah. So, you can have yeah. one model with only face emotes, and then when you uh, go to upload another character with, say, an AK-47 on it, you would detach it from the blueprint ID, rename it to something else, and then when you upload it, you'll now have two of the same character, one with facial emotes and one with an AK, and you just have to switch back and forth between them. Yeah. Now, the uh, sometimes you always, uh, with the issue with, um, say, an avatar with an AK, is you basically got um, like you accidentally sit in a chair real fast and you have your AK, it will be stuck on your model. So that's another reason to have like a separate model that doesn't have the AK. Uh, because then it won't happen as much. Um, the other thing about animations is, is it, animations take practice and a long time to, um, basically do because you have to do every single finger you have to move every single finger in the position that's the issue of uh animations that people have and that's pretty much it when you want to get going on your stuff all right pardon the mute uh Somebody has a pretty loud exhaust outside. Fair enough. Right. Now, when you are going into animation, uh, what you'd want to do is you want to make a duplicate copy of your model. You can rename it whatever you want. And so long as, by the way, can you hear the uh, truck outside? Negatory. Okay, that's good. So, uh, when you're uploading your avatar, uh, so long as you don't have the model itself uh, highlighted, you're only going to be uploading one. That's good. Okay. I was kind of paranoid about that. So let's go ahead and hide this one. And you can tell that it's a separate model altogether. So just hide the original, go into your animation model. And we're going to go to the animation tab. If you do not have the animation tab, just go up to your windows, go into animation, not animate tour. Wait for it to load, drag it down. And then create. So we want this in the, uh, sometimes you do have to be careful. Uh, it will be in your main folder. You don't want it there. You want to navigate to whatever, you know, you're working on. So let's go back into assets, find the folder, and rename it. What do we want to work on first? Uh, let's go with happy. So after we begin, if you go back into your projects folder off to the left, you will notice that you have two new things. You have this which is basically the animation template for your model. And then you have this, which is the actually the actual animation itself. So we go back to the animation window and we're going to add a property. We're going to choose any of these, but this is where it's going to split off. If you have a, say, an AK-47, you would actually navigate to, say, your right shoulder, right arm, right elbow, and then right wrist. You'd put the AK in there, and then you'd also hide it in the inspector. That way, when you come back into your duplicate model, and make sure that you do add it to the duplicate model too, you'd go into armature, and you'd navigate to the correct area, you navigate to the AK-47, click on it, click the down arrow, 
and then click on is active. When you do that, it will, well, make it active. Obviously doing this with the spine isn't going to do much. If you want, say, a different facial emote, you would go to body, skinned mesh renderer, and you'd find a blend shape. So long as the person who made your avatar added it as a Vizim, which is basically what it is. The same thing that allows you to get your lips to read uh, while you're talking. So you'd say, look for blend shape dot, and then any of these are going to be your different facial uh, animations. So let's go to say, be troubled. I think anger would be better. So for certain things on this, you could go into the negatives, you can go into the positives, and you can go from anywhere, say, to, from zero to 360 or negative 360. For your skin mesh render, it is only data from zero to 100. So we're currently at zero, go to 100, and it only moved the eyebrows just a hair. See if we can find something else. Unfortunately, this isn't one with too much in there. True colors? Yeah, that's better. This is basically how people get their facial emotes. Uh, if you want hand emotes, rather than go into the body or to the arm armature, you would go to the animator. And uh, so long as your uh, model is rigged as a humanoid, which we did right when we opened Blender, I mean Unity, my bad, <laughs> <laughs> then you will have the animator. Uh, because uh, generic models uh, are animated through the armature. Humanoid models are uh, animated through the muscles or, say, the animator. So if you want your whole entire hand, and this turns into the tedious part, uh, part. If you want your whole entire hand animated, you're gonna to have to go through this entire uh, sheet. Do you have to use both? Mm, use both of what? Anyway, uh, you'd have to go through this entire sheet and search for each and every muscle that you want to move, each joint. So say you go to the index one, index two, while he types that out. And let me see if I can just get the whole entire index finger in here. And I am on the right hand. And anywhere from, let's see, one, Hey, never mind. Oh no, please, uh, ask questions. Otherwise, how are we gonna, you know, be able to help you? Yeah. How are you gonna learn? Personally, the reason why I'm doing these live streams and Fuzzy's also helping me with this live stream, partially because I can't use Unity on my main computer and it would look like shit if I use a uh, team viewer and doing it on my laptop, um, is because I do wanna help people with doing avatars and stuff. This will this live stream will be going on my channel, so you can like view back and stuff like that if you need to. Um, so if you have questions, make sure you ask them. It's literally and uh, if you're on my YouTube uh, channel, there will be a link to my Twitch where we'll be where we did the live stream because we will be doing this at least weekly. Usually depends on uh, uh, the time that I have and time that Fuzzy has, so, like I said earlier. I'm a very busy man. I usually, usually go to sleep. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I'm taking Mondays off from streaming so that I can, uh, yeah. You're good. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask. If we already did it, I'm more than happy no, to, to go over it again. Missed a lot. <laughs> Certainly. Um, 
but yeah, basically, uh, it's personally why I'm doing these streams because a lot of people want to get into how to do their own avatar and stuff like that, and usually get kind of um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Intimidated because of uh, this stuff. You do it in the middle finger animation. Absolutely. <laughs> Fair enough. So, as you can see, Fuzzy is doing a middle finger animation, which means you have to edit each pretty much bone in the hand. Oh, yeah. And it does get tedious because every time you add a property from the animator, it will close the menu and you have to reopen it and re-navigate. Yeah. It's not that bad with just the animator, but when you're going through the armature and actually going through the entire skeleton of the model it does get extremely tedious yeah now after you get your facial emote and your hand emote exactly the way you want it if you upload it as it is uh, you will instantly find something wrong with it and by that i mean it will slowly just cycle so what you need to do is you need to drag this from one minute Actually, I don't even think that's one minute. I think, pretty sure that's uh, one second. But anyway, drag everything from one second. What is your view channel? To... Whose? Oh, that's fuzzy. You already know mine pretty much. That's fuzzy. But you want to drag it down to one millisecond. Uh, also, make sure that the red slider is over the uh, first uh, frame, control C, drag to the second frame, which is now in one millisecond, and control V. That way, whenever you press play, it's static. Uh, I'm a fuzzy kitten, if you're asking me, and he's Captain. Captain Manus Ravenbeard. So, it's pretty much our VR chat names. It's pretty easy to find. Oh, yeah. Okay, after you get this done, uh, you don't need to necessarily save it. You can control S right now, but let's go ahead and hide our animation model. Go up to our FBS, X, FBX model. Uh, one other thing to note, uh, which I forgot to mention early on, if you're currently playing or if the play, pause, and uh, fast forward button, actually I'm pretty sure that's skip forward, are red, anything you do will be reverted. Uh, a quick way to fix that is to press play and then play again, just to make sure that it's not. The only things that I can remember off the top of my head that aren't reverted is messing with the shaders. Just one more thing to keep in mind. So, after we get your animation ready, you're not really going to do anything with this. However, you do need to keep it in, in, your, uh, in your folder. Just ignore it. But you are going to have to add a new thing. So you're going to go into your VRC SDK, examples, sample assets, animation, and you're going to duplicate the custom override, which you can do with Control-D. From the top, navigate to the folder that your model is in, and just drag it in. All right, let's just go back. And it's down here. I'm just going to rename it to Luca, and then click on it. So a couple things are already on this one. Uh, I don't actually remember these being on here before. Especially seeing as there's gang them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that I've edited this at some point. However, when you first get it, it should say none all the way across the board. It won't hurt it, per se, if you do have things on there. It just means that whenever you go to activate something, whatever that is connected to, that will be what you get. So let's go back to models. Get to Luca.
and then let's add our animation to it. Happy. And happy seems like something a thumbs up would be. So if you're on a desktop, as in you're playing desktop only, not VR, when you go to activate your happy emotes, your face will be good, but your middle finger, in this case, will be down at your side. What you need to do is to go back into your model, go back to properties, and add your animators for your different arm positions, your forearm, uh, your, I forget what this one's called, but just get your whole entire arm and position it. <laughs> position it uh, to what you need. Say you have it down at your side and then forward, or you just have it straight out and you're just flat out putting your middle finger in somebody's face. Yeah. If you're on VR, you only have to worry about your hand, and then your VR will do the rest. So, after you have it in your new uh, custom override, Click on your model and make sure that you're on your model itself and, again, not in your shaders. And then drag this to the controller. Another thing that you might want to do is to drag it into both of these, the custom uh, sitting and standing positions and animations. After that, you should be ready to go. Your uh, model should be completely ready. There might be a couple things that you might have to go back and fix here and there, but you should be good. Uh, can you think of anything else? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of something. I mean, overall, basically, animation can be tricky. I mean, uh, one animation that me and Fuzzy did, well, he helped me out with, was the, uh, it was kind of the same model. But basically, it had a, a headphone <laughs> uh, model on it, and uh, we added music to it, and pretty much was, everything was good. But for some reason, the textures fucked up <laughs> on yeah, the headphones. Was, uh, done of your own accord. <laughs> so, I, hey, I followed your instructions. <laughs> so, one thing to keep in mind is always keep a backup because you yeah. will break things. Uh, in this case, we had to delete his materials folder, if I remember correctly, yeah. and drag the textures back in and reset the model so that it generated new a new materials folder. Either that or we just dragged in new headphones. Basically, when you're doing models and stuff, something will fuck up eventually, and you would have to redo it. Uh, models are kind of tedious in their own way, and if you're real, you gotta check it. And if you really uh, want to do models, uh, you kind of have to have the willpower. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, time, the time also notably to do it. Um, like with me doing uh, streams and editing, I can't really uh, spend the time. Not to mention my Unity doesn't work on my main computer. So, until either I contact Unity to see if they can help me and get it fixed and stuff and have the time to do models. Basically, Fuzzy's been helping me out with models. So, I have literally Fuzzy to thank for pretty much my models that I use in VRChat. And uh, he has been a really cool dude basically helping me with it. Um, so, you literally, for models have to have the time, the willpower, and the dedication, basically. Fuzzy, for some reason, is addicted to freaking doing models. Like, I... Uh, I need my fix, man. Yeah, not to mention, uh, with how many models he has in his goddamn folder. It's not that many. It's not that many. You have 12 freaking new things, and then you still have models that are outside of those. I mean, There's yeah. like 100 fucking models there. Yeah, and I did delete most of them. You go, like, through just... 30 models a day. These are just the remnants. I just me. But basically, yeah, you have to have the dedication, basically. Um, the other 
issue with models is if you're looking for a custom model, sometimes they might be out of your reach to do. You could also just kind of do what you can do and then find someone who can do the other rest. Kind of like how Fuzzy has specific abilities for uh, like animations and other stuff. Uh, I have another person in my Discord that I've gotten to know. Uh, pretty much everyone calls her Ruby uh, because of the model she uses in VRChat and how she acts, basically, uh, can do stuff that Fuzzy cannot. So then Fuzzy usually works with that person to uh, help him out or help someone else out, basically. Um, well, me and his brother also helps out, too, though. Um, which, next week, we will be working with me and his brother on specific things that he can do and stuff like that. And maybe Fuzzy can learn some stuff from him, too. Um... But yeah, basically, uh, it avatars are a thing that you have to have dedication. You really do. It's not easy by any means. Like, once you start doing it, it's easy. Like, you can see how Fuzzy's just going through shit, doing stuff. He's done multiple avatars at this point. Probably over 100, actually. Yeah, that's about right. But yeah, basically, he's just keeps on doing it, basically, and just gets used to doing the models and doing this usual routine of stuff. Yeah, one thing that I did do originally, like right now I have a few avatars that I stick with in VR chat. Uh, but what I was originally doing when learning all of this stuff was that every time I wanted to learn something new, I downloaded a new avatar. Uh, that way I had to redo everything else that I learned in order to do the new thing that I wanted to learn. So I really hammered in everything that I've learned yeah. over the course of the one or two months that I've been doing this. Yeah, it, it's a long process to do avatars. It literally is. Um, Blender's not easy. Unity is a little bit more easy, but with animations and stuff like that, it's fucking hard. <laughs> And there's a lot of learning. It's a big learning curve. It literally is. But overall, in the long run, you'll feel good about yourself that you can do a lot of things that most people cannot do because you took the time to learn it and stuff like that. Can you make other avatars for other people? Usually, we. I am thinking about doing an avatar commission dealio later down the line, but I have to find people who are willing to really like spend time to do it and stuff now, like that. I do have a lot of avatars that are already finished and VR chat ready. Uh, yeah. I can get a group of pictures of them and just send them to you. And if you like one, I'll just give it to you. Uh, I can help you to a certain degree with your models. I cannot rig a model. Yeah. Uh, but if you find a model that is rigged, I will be glad to help you one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, there's also... An... I'm pretty sure I still have it uh, in my Discord where there is literally avatars that are ready for VR chat, ready to download in the Discord. In that, I think it's called um, what like, fuck. Uh, he's going to do it right now. Uh, so there's like avatar sharing that in there. There are avatars that are ready for uh VR chat that he, Fuzzy actually has done. Um. So far, there's only two. I need to start yeah. uploading more. He can also put more avatars in there, and I am going to be creating probably another um, area for, like, uh, pictures of avatars. So, like, if you see a picture of an avatar that Fuzzy has done and he doesn't really care about, basically, that you like, you could uh, actually ask for that avatar. We would put it into avatar sharing. Now, one thing that I think actually Fuzzy probably should show, and he probably is doing right now, is you can do a background for your avatars, like I have and he has. Um, basically, you to do that, it's actually kind of easy, actually, ironically. Uh, it's just that you have to kind of be careful when doing it. <laughs> uh oh <clears throat> It's not letting me change the material. Oh, no. 
yeah, so basically we will be putting more avatars into the avatar sharing. Not to mention there is the site called VRC Mods. You can find a lot of avatars that are done on there. There are like over 800 avatars on that site. And you might find one that you like yourself. And stuff like that. So, not to mention there's a lot of avatars that Fuzzy and or Stun and stuff like that find. That basically they modify on off of there. So... How long is the stream going to be? It's probably going to be done in less than an hour at this point. Because it is only going to be an hour, two hour stream. And we're already about an hour and 30 minutes. If I go to my dashboard. Okay. Come on. Load oh, yourself. This is only a test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're at about an hour and 60 minutes. So, not to mention, we're almost done with this avatar, and it took us about an hour and 60 minutes explaining stuff, doing that stuff, and such like that. So, okay, I remember now. Uh, I'll move scene. Don't say. <laughs> now, one thing you have to do is when you're doing like a PMG behind an avatar, you want to make it its own scene in the background. Uh, you don't want to put you, it in there. You actually okay. don't need to do that. Uh, nope. I make it. I make it my own scene that way no matter what if i'm doing a new avatar i just back out to my assets go to depends dependencies and then i have it right there ready to go fuzzy yeah so let me go ahead and get rid of that well one other thing of doing it for its own scene is it can't fuck with the avatar itself <laughs> you can yeah, being overly cautious is not bad for doing avatars Oh yeah, but I can show you right now that it won't, it yeah. shouldn't hurt as long as you don't like drag it into the character. Yeah. So go ahead and get that rotation at ninety. Uh, put the size at point four and point four. Leave the Y uh, on your plane, but that's the thickness, and it won't matter uh, unless you put it at zero, which in that case you're going to screw a lot of things up. So after that. Just download any sort of picture, put it onto your desktop. That way you can just view it. This is just a nice anime wasteland. And then drag that into your projects folder, wherever you need. After that, just drag it from your projects folder onto the plane. And there you go. It will enable you to access all of the shaders or the albedo, which is the picture itself. You can also change it. And not to mention, you can also do where you can basically um, take the uh, VRC camera and just put it so that it shows the picture only. A lot of uh, people who do avatars do that as well. So, yeah. like, if you find a nice picture of the avatar that's like an anime picture and stuff, and it looks really nice and stuff, you can have that as your uh, view, basically. Yeah, which I'm just going to do this. Now... Uh, one thing that I do want to note, you could see how it's kind of dull. That's because of the lighting. The lighting will always mess with it. Yeah. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to change the shader to unlit, and you'll have this by default. Uh, you're going to notice I have a lot of shaders in here uh, that you don't have. Not but just make sure that you go to unlit and go to texture, and then that will brighten it up, and then the light level doesn't matter. So now whenever you go to click on your model and you go to upload your model, you should have a background. And so long as the plane isn't actually on your model, on the hierarchy, then when you go to upload it, you won't have a background behind you everywhere you go. Yeah. However, like he said before, it might be better just to make a new scene and drag it in. It also makes it a lot more convenient than having to redo it every time. Because then you can also just save that scene and just plop it in whenever you like light that background that you made. And you can just do it for every single avatar. Alright, we're going to make sure that all of this is checked because this is obviously extremely not safe for work. <laughs> uh, obviously. And then upload which I'm not going to do. Yeah, because this is just like a, a avatar for this whole entire thing that we 
I've come up with. This, and to be fair, this show that I've been doing, I've been planning for a while. <laughs> it's only like, I asked like Fuzzy, what, like three weeks ago, like two weeks ago? One week ago. One week ago, if you wanted to do this, and he hopped on. Because I can't really do the Unity shit and stuff like that. I know a good, I know like uh, some stuff in when I messed with it and uh, tinkered as well and with Blender as well. But um, overall, my experience is limited. Fuzzy been doing this for fucking years and shit. Well, those are weird ass eyes. <laughs> but um, the next stream will be focusing more on like Miz line of work on how avatars work um which is more like the uh pmx editor stuff and the uh um that mia does and like the uh um so one thing i'm thinking basically oh wait a minute i need to check if i uh, can do that um shit um i might be able to do it with uh mia uh basically Mia will probably be working on uh, my avatar for next week, which Fuzzy can tune in as well uh, and stuff and see how that w goes. But basically, I'm or maybe the avatar might be done by then. I don't know. So then we might just do like a test avatar or something that Mia can do and show what you can do with like PMX editor and what they do with avatars. Uh, that Fuzzy really can't do because he hasn't worked with like PMX editor or stuff like that. Um, basically, uh, it's it's a difficult process learning everything and stuff like that. Luckily, we uh, on my Discord we have uh, uh, Ruby or Rimmel, and then uh, Fuzzy who knows how to do that. Fuzzy literally got into making avatars like not uh over long ago i remember fuzzy having the freaking little girl avatar that had a freaking knife and a well really funny face <laughs> like literally if you go on my channel like a good couple of episodes ago and now he has his own avatars and he does his own avatars and stuff like that over the course of those av uh, episodes yeah and uh i also have finally gotten my commission on nice nice so, so like, yeah, we'll even the yeah, you can talk. Too bad, I'm done. <laughs> Basically, Fuzzy did a commission because there's stuff that he can't do, so he did a commission because he can't do the stuff that that avatar needed. Can you make followed avatars? One thing is, uh, to make followed avatars, you need to have the model itself. And for one thing, we, I don't know where those models can be found. And I don't think Fuzzy can find those models. I mean, there are people that have followed avatars. Um, not to mention, you have to find good looking. I mean, to be fair, Fuzzy has found a lot of models that overly, uh, a lot of people would not be able to find on their own. So, it's, it's literally, uh, uh, you have a model. Well, for one thing, you'd have to check to see if that model has bones, has the stuff that basically is needed for VR chat. So, uh, we'd have to check that out, basically. Uh, but, yeah. Does, or are you talking about the one that does not have bones? Once again, I cannot do bones. I don't know, basically. He says he has a followed uh, model and stuff like that, but I don't know if uh, it has bones or not. You'd have to check that out. Oh, yeah. Um, not to mention. Uh, can you think of anything else for uh, showing? Mm, I, I can't think of anything yeah. immediate. Yeah, I think I'm finished. So basically, we're at about an hour and 23 minutes. Basically, uh, we're going to be wrapping up the stream, I think, for today. Um, so it'll be around an hour and three minutes uh, that this stream will be on my um, uh, NCR. Well, that, oh, fair enough. Uh, so basically, um, this will go on my uh, YouTube channel 
So if you ever need to view back and stuff like that, and if anyone missed out on the stream can view on the uh, good old avatar making we just did. Well, Fuzzy did. I was just talking and explaining some stuff and talking out my ass. But basically, um, uh, one actually one thing that I'm gonna actually explain that uh, watching Fuzzy use a little uh, uh, desktop here. Um, one thing is not all avatars are gonna have where you can change the uh, mesh and texture on it so easily. Sometimes there'll be one texture, so you have to manually go into like um, photo, uh, not Photoshop. Well, Photoshop and or like just any basic um, picture editor and um, do it manually. Like, luckily for the Luke one that he has, uh, it has where it's all separate textures. You can change it so easily. So, or GIMP. GIMP's a free program. It's a nice program, too. But, I hate GIMP. Yeah, it's a little uh, weird to get used to. I used <laughs> to use GIMP all the time, but I uh, haven't had the time to do it. Um, basically, yeah, it's it's an interesting process going through avatars. Um, that's pretty much the only thing I can remember that, uh, is immediate. That actually just came to mind, so. <clears throat> now, let's just check on time and see if I can do the outro, basically. And for those people that have just joined in, because I can see the watching now uh basically uh you can go back to my youtube channel that my youtube is down below you can click the picture uh for uh the past stream when it goes up uh for if when you missed basically so there's about four minutes left that uh we have uh so i'm going to now um jesus christ uh basically um say uh That uh, basically, um, the uh, stream will be going on my YouTube. I hope you uh, enjoyed the stream. Leave a follow if you liked it. Uh, and go to my other uh, my other uh, social media down below. And I hope you enjoyed, basically. Uh, and I hope you found this really helpful. Fuzzy's been uh, really good in not getting annoyed by me with yeah, avatars yeah. and stuff. <coughs> There's my background for my avatar. <laughs> that Fuzzy ironically made for me, which I actually do like. Are you going to give me a better looking one? I do like it. I don't mind it. Okay. I mean, if you're not overly happy with it, you can change it all the time. You have my uh, thing. Play PC building simulator? No. <laughs> I'm good. But basically, yeah, the, it, that's pretty much all for this episode for uh, uh, how to have a uh, model. Basically, uh, that uh, Lolomel came up with the name. And then uh, this was the PC and Blender portion, or the Unity and fucking god damn it. Um, the uh, Unity and Blender portion. So, why not? Because it would be too close to what I actually would have done in real life. So, not to mention it's 20 bucks and it's a piece of shit game. So, I'm good. <coughs> uh... I'm not paying for that for 20 bucks. Not to mention, I don't have much money to actually buy games. So, well, a ability to buy games. So, actually, yeah, yeah. I, I can confirm that. He has four. <laughs> All right. Uh, by the way, uh, Jake, I did add you on Twitch. Uh, go ahead and just shoot me a message, and we can. Uh, he's also in get the you on my Discord. Oh, he's already in the Discord. Yeah. Dang, that was quick. Yeah, I'll just uh, hit you a uh, shoot you a message, and you can just send me the model, and we can talk one on one about getting it into VR chat for you. Yeah. So yeah, that would be in the uh, it for the stream. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time for uh, more avatars. I will be streaming on Tuesday. Monday I will be uh, not streaming because I'm going to use that as my day off. 
to do uh, videos for and stuff like that. So basically, um, I'm gonna be like playing VR chat, being in VR chat, interacting with people, and then uh, editing videos that day. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a good Bye. day.